Hello, welcome back to Benushishi Live Noding. Um, let's continue with our exploration of animation nodes and maybe I'll be using Sphere Chalk nodes as well in Blender 2.8. So let's save this really quick. ANSV noise grid. And let's, re let's switch to animation nodes for now. Let's delete everything. So I'm gonna make something that's a little bit interesting maybe. So I'll start with a grid. This is in animation animation node and I'll output some kind of mesh. So I need to use this and then object, mesh object output. All right, plug this in there, turn this on. And we need a target. Okay, so we have real grid here we can work on and i will also be will be using the the mesh okay so first of all this guy assign a material i will assign a couple so let's add select let's add one more so let's make like some kind of rainbow color. So we get some uh, like a like a spectrum. I'm kind of curious whether this would work. All right, so let's continue on. I'll save it again. And so the idea is, I will be using noise and then try to colorize this with a uh, with this with those rainbow color which is gonna be the material indices so how is how is this possible uh, basically we have this grid of mesh and we have this uh, mesh output for the mesh I'll I will try to extract the, the vector and mesh info is doing its job, right? Um, so let me turn this off. Animation nodes is making a lot of noise. I'm just gonna be updating when the frame is changed. So again, mesh data has vertices, and vertices can be can be seen, you know, can be seen as a vectors, and so we can use that as a noise and, and as an output. If we tap W and no, actually, use the viewer. We can see all the value that's it's being generated. So if I'm not wrong, we can use this to maybe displace this guy, and also at the same time you can use it as material indices. But we we might need to remap it. So map range. So we know that we can we can kind of tell. This guy is generating values for each each vertices, and supposedly we want to just colorize the face. For that, we need a polygon center. So we are really working on the center, and so so I think this will work. So if we look at it uh, in this mode. Shading mode, okay, can't see anything. Maybe we need to change the range or something. So you started to see something down there. Maybe we need, I need to increase this because we have seven color, right? And maybe I also need to increase the grid. So let's do that really quick. Uh, I'll I'll give it some light also. Make this 100 by 100. Now we have 10,000 face right to work with, and we already see something. I, I was I was actually that's actually really fast right. Even 200 by 200. Yeah, actually just go there. You can increase the length. You can you can see the noise, but uh, keep it small for now. Uh, file save. Save as 
and yeah like you all you can already see you can play start playing around with amplitude frequency etc this is almost like a building like a cycles procedural noise on the fly so it's always fun to see this happening so that's a noise simplex noise you can change to Perlin and other value cellular is also kind of interesting but I'll stick with simplex for now I guess so again play around with the value we I, I don't know what's the max and the minimum of this would be nice if we can just simply normalize it oh uh, okay I'm, I can go a little bit more yes this is like all the seven seven value coming from this material you can really tell and this can be used for the high or something I wonder if I can do that as well so with our mesh our mesh and then this guy I want to kind of push it up using noise maybe I separate this since, since this one I will be using the vector and then I want to maybe offset use offset vector offset vectors so from this guy I want to offset it using this guy oh all right maybe offset it since this one doesn't really generate vector oops combine vector oh yeah that's that works and that should work as well and we plug this back so now yeah I think it's displacing it based on the the value of this guy all right maybe we can uh, use a vector math and multiply and we need the polygon indices and the edge okay now we are back this one is really kind of scaling it but that's okay we are, we are only working we are not using the normal uh, i mean yeah it's just the height so this should work Ah, it's not changing here. Okay. File save as because the value coming from a different uh, setup here. Uh, because this one is using the face center, polygon center, and maybe I have to change this slightly. I guess it's uh, we can plug the seed I guess data input the seed should match so now now it makes sense right the purple is always the highest or we can do the opposite now slightly better it's kind of make like some kind of map we can increase this maybe make this even more 500 oh thousand by thousand one million polygon face oops that's a bit slow okay 400 by 400 so that's better so now we are generating something and yeah as long as we connect this vector noise and vector noise should be fine we can see the visualizations 
and we shouldn't stop here because maybe we can use uh, other mesh as well not just grid do we have donut no we don't have mesh mesh tools generators line grid circle cylinder should work no actually it's for now it's better to work just flat as a flat object but this is uh, animation nodes right and then we can actually give this a name a n height visualization and then i'll make sphere chalk sphere chalk nodes because sphere chalk nodes of course has a lot more generators my favorite is there's one just call it hexa polygon grid yeah this one will generate something it has polygon center vertices we just use the vertices and face and i'll just put it to the side and we have some kind of hexagonal grid gonna give light it should work yeah, it works on the in this mode as well. Doesn't work here. Maybe it, I need to turn on texture. No. Okay, this is better. So we have this grid, and this grid is um, yeah, it's a pretty good grid. We can bring it into animation nodes. This is live as well, so let's see how this works. I'm gonna select all, maybe create another node tree and paste it here. Hexa from Spectro. Sometimes I think I have a. Uh, we can treat a node tree as a single node so we can back go back and forth from sphere chalk animation nodes and then as long you you mark you mark this properly so if, you know like zero is sphere chalk generate mesh and the next one is animation node a n give color to this guy this guy should get the same material from this so select this and select this control l material so this now have all this material list and we simply connect of course we can do this using cycles as well it's not like impossible maybe even better with cycles but uh, this is interesting it's proving a point I'll create a new target this one I'll just bring the object mesh from object just get our mesh okay now you can see it's already happening the new mesh need to get the material from this guy so we can hide spare chalk nodes okay this operator doesn't work yet so we just hide it from here and we don't want to render it out and disable objects on the viewport okay so let's play around uh back in spread chalk maybe increase the number 20 by 20 update it here we go 40 by 40 put it to the side oh it doesn't respect the transform okay that's all right let's just scale this Okay, 
now uh, it's starting to look much better and vector noise we just hit w get the vector offset plus plug this there now we can play with this it's kind of a way to create to generate some kind of map maybe mountain hill valley and maybe a bit of ocean water um, I think it's possible it's possible you can with sphere chalk you can also maybe randomize a bit you can also randomize using animation nodes it's not possible it's not impossible oops that's too much yeah just add a bit of variations so instead of hexagonal it's slightly more natural let's just duplicate it you can also just work with displacement at this stage um, yeah I think it's anything anything possible just add more layers of ideas so I need to scrub this in order for it to work because I turn off animation nodes here instead of always um, so yeah we have this guy and this guy So back and forth between this and this, between sphere choke and animation nodes. It's really powerful. Um, yeah, any ideas you can add, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.